guys know I love to decorate everything and I'm constantly switching things around and some of you guys have may notice a difference in my background it's not as dark as it used to be and that is because I made a couple of changes I went to like Walmart and Marshalls and like different places and I want to show you guys um, small little ways that you can decorate this is kind of like a haul slash inspiration video. so this is what my bedroom used to look like I didn't like the black curtains I just felt like it looked too dark for me and this corner of my room just looked really blah so I just made a quick couple of changes like changed the picture frame and added some pretty flowers on there and then I got my pink toolbox out and hung up this beautifully framed mirror which I got at Walmart for like $24 and I think it complemented the curtains that I bought from Walmart as well and those were only like $12 or $13 and I just love how it all looks together now let's move on to my vanity and I also have a vanity and a makeup tour if you guys are interested but I reduced the number of makeup brushes that I have because I have so many and I just put them in these candle holders from Bath and Body Works and I also got a small little picture frame that matched the frame of my mirror that I put up earlier. So got a couple of things that I rearranged like on my coffee table I love 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 my coffee table if you guys have seen from like previous videos and also like on my Instagram I'm constantly putting uh, pictures of my coffee table because I rearrange it all of the time so I want to show you guys how I'm gonna decorate it for the month of October because it's gonna be Halloween in a month I can't believe it that's crazy and I just switched some things around now my living room is monochromatic and it's also pink so it's black and white silver and pink and and it's just um, that's the colors that I like so I don't like to put like browns or anything on there that's gonna throw off the color of the theme and the color of my living room this is what my coffee table looked through pretty much all of summer and it has like really bright colors on here like the magazines really stand out and I whenever I arrange anything on my coffee table I wanted to have different heights and different textures and a similar color palette so I have like this beautiful candle here and also the souvenir from when I went to California with my fiance it was one of the best vacations I've ever taken and it was just so memorable so I kept like all of the little macaroon boxes and little things that really make me happy and make me excited to be in my living room so let's get rid of some of those colors and make it a little bit more festive for October so I went ahead and just pretty much took everything off and then I got these flowers from Walmart and I just took the stems off the bottom to make them shorter to fit in a smaller little vase so I really love this vase and I love how it stands out it's really bright I only put a couple of flowers in here because I didn't want it to be as bright as the other ones were but I kept the picture frame because I just love this picture frame it was a gift to me from when I went to California to be my fiance's family and then I do too I do have two little owls and one of them to white and black so I just switched it to the black one to match the little pumpkin that my fiance gave me last year from Target and the silver pumpkin I got from Marshalls and you can never forget a candle because I love lighting candles and I got this little dish from Target last year as well and I decided to use it again to put my nail polishes in because I have so many nail polishes and keeping them out in open view helps me remember which ones I have and inspires me to paint my nails. I also put out new magazines that are up to season and at night I just love to go through the magazines, paint my nails and light a candle and it's just perfect. I also have a picture frame that I just recently bought at Ross. It was so inexpensive. It was $20. It was so cheap and I had to get it. I just don't know where I'm going to put it yet. But my fiance and I are going to buy a house after we get married. So I'll have more room to put more, more things. And I'll probably put it in my glam room when we buy our house. But until then, I'm going to keep the picture frame because it's gorgeous. It's Marilyn Monroe. It's so unique. I've never seen a picture of her like that. She's holding like a Chanel bottle and it just looks so glamorous. And it reminds me of a glam room because that's what I call like the place where I'm gonna do my hair and makeup and shoot videos and stuff like that because right now we are in my glam room but when I get my own house I'm gonna make a whole room dedicated to that. I hope you guys like this video because I just love home decor videos and I hope you do too. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your um, thoughts below in the comment section because I always love talking to you guys and don't forget to subscribe for more home decor videos DIY projects and makeup tutorials and fashion videos I love doing fashion videos so yeah that is all and I will see you guys in my next video bye ready set go
Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nidia, she's so unglamorous right now.